before we're live there. All right, here we go. So I have two screens that I'm working here with for you guys. So I have Facebook and YouTube over here on my laptop and I have Instagram here right in front of me. Um, and today I wanted to go live on all three platforms so that we can talk to all of you guys at once and just kind of show you and talk to you about like the different things that we're doing on our end that are ultimately setting up our viewers for success. So what I'm going to try to do is move this a little bit closer to my phone. All right, there we go. All right, so um, for those of you on Instagram, you guys do not have a description, so you guys don't know what today's live is about today, but Facebook and YouTube, you guys probably have seen the title in the description, and we are talking about Threadfast Apparel. Um, and Threadfast Apparel is one of the most exciting or excitable brands that I got a chance to get a walkthrough for um, from Rachel there. And she just kind of showed me around like all of the different products that they're offering and um, what they're doing differently. And I just kind of fell in love with it. And I think that you guys will too. Um, and why is this important? Because as an apparel decorator, we want to have access to a different varieties, right? So we all know and love our go-tos, which are typically Bella Canvas, um, Alternative, Gildan, like any of those brands that we all know. Um, but one thing we need to do is diversify ourselves. And that's extremely important. We talk about it all the time because of all the heat transfers that you have access to and available to you through stalls. Uh, but that also translates into apparel too. It also ultimately is going to set you up um, as a unique custom apparel provider to be able to offer something that's different and not like everything else on the market. So it's important to stay in tune um, with new brands and what they are offering. So today we're going to be talking again about Threadfast. So I see about 25 of you with us on Instagram. Hello, hello. I see you guys all joining in. I'm gonna try to not drop my phone here. Um, so, and then there's also some comments coming in. So hello, Deepa from Hershey PA. This is from Facebook. Um, Arlene, I do see your comment there. I need to know how to design on your site. There was a video a few months ago. Um, I absolutely need to do better at uh, designing in our um, artwork designer, our HTV designer is what it's called. Um, so there will be more content coming um, there here in the future. I don't have a date for you right now, but just bear with us as we are just working through a lot of new stuff. Um, all, a lot of you guys have seen the new Ultra Color Max. So we're doing a lot of uh, product development there and really not like developing the product itself, but just getting you faster ship times, um, but also testing it on a lot of different materials. And that's actually one of the products that we are going to be testing today in today's live on the Thread Fast Apparel. So real quick and Instagram, bear with me here because I am going to flip the screen so that you guys can see what we're showing on the screen here. And then I am going to share this with you guys here on YouTube and Facebook. Okay, so this is Threadfast Apparel, all right? They are really known for recycling. Um, they're recycled polyester and just doing better for the planet overall. All right, I'm not going to take a deep dive into that. I genuinely just don't think that I would do them enough justice based off of everything that they're doing to really just help for a better planet, right? So very going green. And I think that that is such a big part of um, people who are buying products now. I think that that is very impactful in their decision-making process on whether they want to go with a custom apparel printer um, or what have you, even outside of that. But they have a lot of variety. So they have the t-shirts. They have t-shirts that are tri-blends and cotton poly. Um, and then they also have ones that are sublimated, right? So we're going to be testing a sublimated one to see how that goes today. They have fleece. 
They have the tri blend collection. We're going to be testing a tri blend today. And one of my favorite categories of theirs is their outerwear. I honestly believe that this is the one thing that they are just doing so differently than any of the other brands. For example, let's look at this jacket, right? So this is a vegan leather, right? So as we are looking at this, we think, okay, vegan leather, can that something that I can, is that something that I can even heat press on? It absolutely is. There are certain things that you need to take into consideration, like what accessories to use so that you're not burning the fabric and what products to use so that you know that it's going to adhere correctly. All right. So this is a vegan leather jacket. Look at this. It looks so high quality. So imagine that customer that wants something next level and wants something that is going to really just stand out for their brand and you being able to heat press it for them, right? So they just are offering a lot of very unique and different like retail inspired outerwear, right? So I absolutely love this jacket. It has the Sherpa on the inside of it. And this is, if you think back to when Sherpa became so big and we just saw Sherpa as like all over like, like the Sherpa vests and the hoodies and things like that. Um, this is actually where Sherpa was most known being used for was the inside of denim jackets and outerwear jackets. So I love that they're kind of bringing that style back. I haven't seen it in a while. And just that we're able to get this all wholesale too um, for better pricing that makes it even better. And of course, they have some really nice bomber jackets. And you'll see that any of the jackets they're offering in the women's is also avail available in men. Um, but it's because it's unisex. So the same way that Bella Canvas is doing unisex stuff, that is exactly what Threadfast Apparel is doing. So as I mentioned, we um, I had the chance to visit with Threadfast Apparel Um I'm trying to get back to my screen here on my laptop. Uh, it's hard working with two screens at once, guys. I'm glad you're bearing with me. But like I said, I was able to um, visit their booth and see these products in hand. And I was so excited. And I talked to Rachel, the sales rep there. And I was just like, this is crazy. I haven't seen anyone else doing something like this. And I couldn't wait to get back and share all of this with you guys. So with that being said, we're going to go to the heat press. We're also going to pull up some of these, pull out some of these garments that they gave us to test, which we are so extremely grateful for. All right. So we have the A to Z. That's what we're going to be pressing with today. And I picked three products that I feel like will go best with the products that we're testing today. That way you guys have a little bit of a variety to work with. So the three products that we are going to use is Cad Cut Metallic. So that'll give you a special effect finish. If you guys are using strictly screen print transfers, then Goof Proof is going to be a very great solution for you. And then of course, we couldn't forget about our ultra color line, all right? So we're going to do the ultra color max. So this is the soft, and then this is the max, okay? So for those of you that haven't had a chance to experiment with Ultra Color Max, highly, highly recommend. Um, definitely a very great product, something that everyone is talking about and wanting to use with because it is that direct-to-film solution that is so popular. Everyone's talking about it. All of the industry trade shows that I've been to so far, everyone is so excited about direct-to-film. Um, but they're not necessarily wanting to get a printer right now. So the fact that we have a transfer that you guys can utilize without having to invest in that printer right now, because it is still very early on in the development of those, um, we have the transfers. And the beauty of that is that it applies as low as 290. So why is that important whenever we think about the transfer types that we're applying? Because when we're working with tri-blends or recycled polyester, or any of those outerwear fabrics like the vegan leather that we saw on the jacket, we really want to make sure that our temperature is not too high. If our temperature is high, 
then that is going to increase the possibility of getting a burn box, right? It's a burn box, scorch mark, heat press box, whatever you want to call it. There's a lot of names for it, but it is a clear indentation of your heat press platen kind of burning or scorching that fabric, okay? So the reason that happens is because of pressure and temperature and of course, dwell time, right? So with all the different applications that we work with, we always get a time, temperature, and pressure instruction. Um, so we wanna make sure that we are using um, something with a low temp, a short dwell time, and a um, light pressure, light to medium, typically. Now, anytime I work with the A to Z, though, I will say this. I have my pressure dialed down all the time. So any of you guys that are working with the A to Z right now, we want to make sure that um, that pressure is dialed down. I don't know what's happening, but I think press isn't locking down. There we go. Okay. All right. So we are going to do our first application. So the first application is actually going to be goof proof. We'll start with the basics, all right? Screen print transfers, we all know and love. This is a gang sheet of goof proof. This came in the new uh, Transfer Express marketing kit, okay? So if you guys have not worked with a marketing kit just yet um, for the new year, definitely get it, right? There's a lot of really fun stuff in there. Um, and there's a lot of different designs on different gang sheets. So you guys can see here that I have one, two, three designs, and then the fourth is here. So there's a lot of um, a lot of stuff to play with. And that's exactly what I love using when I'm testing new apparel products. So if you guys are getting samples of shirts that you want to show to your customers, this is the perfect kit for that because there's so much to choose from including the ultra color and the, the, the soft, the max, and the special effects. All right, so we have this Mom Life Transfer, which is a pink and charcoal ink. So I'm going to select just our basic white t-shirt. Now, again, I am using everything from Thread Fast Apparel. These are the samples that they gave to us to test with our products. And this is a cotton poly blend. So this has their recycled polyester in it. Now, this is not going to be like your standard heavy cotton t-shirt, right? Honestly, it feels a little bit more high end than your standard cotton poly. But to be clear here, we do have some show through, okay? So it's very thin. It's very lightweight. has a little bit of that see-through feature. Um, so be careful with your whites. Make sure your customers are um, aware of that because if you get into other colors, obviously it's not as noticeable, but with the white, it is going to be noticeable. I'm going to try to hold this up to the camera as close as possible so that you guys can see how that thread is woven in the shirt. So it has a little bit more of a texture to it, um, which is just going to complement our screen print transfer very, very well. So what we're gonna do is thread this on our platen here. And I'm actually going to thread from the back so that I'm looking right side up. All right, so the A to Z press, um, if you guys haven't seen it just yet, um, it's known for being able to thread either from the bottom or from the top, which is a really nice feature, especially if you are kind of in like that beginner level stage when it comes to heat printing, uh, because it's nice to just have a nice clear overview of the heat press. And as you can see, we're working with a 15 by 15 platen. So I have a lot of space here that I'm working with um, for a standard full front, but I'm getting a nice clear vision of where I can place my transfer. All right, now we want to find center of our design. So what I'm going to do is actually go down here because this is the largest part of my design and I'm going to fold it backwards like this, All right? Again, this is the goof proof transfer. I cut it off of the full gang sheet that it came on and I'm finding center by doing that. And then I'm also going to pinch the top too, but I'm not folding all the way through, okay? 
want you to note that if you are um, thinking about doing this process to find center of your design, don't fold it all the way through. You don't want to ruin the powder adhesive or if it's vinyl, you don't want to ruin that adhesive. Okay. All right. So my center lines are uh, marked there for me. Now what I want to do is I want to preheat. That preheat is going to um, really just get my press um, ready, right? It's warming up my shirt. That's what I call it. I don't know what's happening here, guys. Uh-oh. Somebody call Hotronics for me. <laughs> it's like getting stuck there. Okay, now I'm scared that I'm going to break it. All right. Fingers crossed, guys. So just an FYI. This thing um, was shipped from Pennsylvania to Texas. So I moved to Texas in the new year. Um, and so I'm, I'm thinking that maybe something happened in that shipment because that has never happened to me before. Okay, right. So we're going to lock this down now. And this is going to apply at 325 degrees for 15 seconds. All right, so Goof Proof is also known for a... Another application that is 365 for four seconds. And that's a great application to utilize. Um, however, you want to think about what fabrics that you are applying the goof proof to. And since we are using the cotton poly blend, we are making sure that we um, aren't burning or scorching the t-shirt in any way. So we're actually able to drop the temp of that and get a complete finish. So um, this is the finished design. I would imagine because I had to dial back my pressure that that's why the mom life section didn't apply. All right, so just being transparent there. Um, if I dial my pressure all the way up, I'm having an issue with the, the pull down mechanism in here. Um, so that's why that bottom section didn't apply correctly. But you can see, if I had my pressure dialed all the way up, like I would want it to be for applying screen print transfers with the A to Z heat press, then there would not have been an issue there. Now, um, imagine with me that this design turned out perfectly, right? So what I love about Goof Proof is the true Plastisol ink quality that the transfer offers and how it complements t-shirts like this, all right? So like we mentioned, this is a super lightweight t-shirt. Threadfast is doing a phenomenal job with these shirts and just the way that they are produced and manufactured. And the product feels amazing on there. It's not super heavy. It's not overbearing on that lightweight t-shirt. So I think that Goof Proof at that 325 degree mark is going to be great for those one, maybe two color designs that you guys are doing for your customers on the 50-50 um, blend t-shirt from Threadfast. So these are some other colors that they sent. I'll be testing some other products on these other ones. So stay tuned on our social channels. I'm gonna do an entire YouTube video um, on a few of these different products so that you guys can see what else is going to work on this. and. I'm going to figure out what's wrong with my heat press first before I do that so that we don't see any failure. All right. So next we have is the fleece, right? Actually, before we get to fleece, let's go to tri-blend real quick. So I really like their tri-blend. I love that they're doing it in this raglan baseball style t-shirt because it is a super retro style, which is very in right now. Um, and tri-blends are super great. Like they just feel amazing. But what I'm experiencing is differentiating the cotton poly blend with the tri-blend when they are side by side, right? If I have them both in my hand, they feel almost identical, okay? So consider that whenever you're thinking about your cotton poly blends, uh, because tri-blends are a little bit more heat sensitive because of that rayon content in there. And if there's a super high rayon content, that's when we start to see heat press marks. Okay. So just take that into consideration that maybe that cotton poly blend might be a better fit for our heat application. 
But just keep in mind, I am still at 325 degrees because I did have to apply the goof proof. Um, but if I were to apply my metallic or my ultra color max or the ultra color soft, I would be able to drop that temp significantly. So this is going to apply essentially the same as the cotton poly. So we're not going to press that one, but I just wanted you guys to see that style, see the tri-blend. And honestly, if you guys get samples of these in hand, I feel like you guys will have that same experience as me, where I can't really tell a huge difference between the cotton poly and the tri-blend. All right, so another thing they offer, which I think is really unique because there's probably some that are doing like retail style fully sublimated t-shirts um but theirs are just trendy i have seen fully sublimated shirts done by really amazing brands and they're super great quality um they're usually sporty right they have like a hex blend or something cool like Badger does that very well. If you guys shop through SNS Activewear, Badger is one of those brands that does that. All right, so I'm going to heat press this with a uh, CAD cut metallic. So I just brought over my cover sheet. I saw um, Jessica comment that she likes to use something protective over her heat transfers, which is a really good point. I'm glad you mentioned that. The reason I didn't use one with the Goof Proof application on the 5050 blend is because we don't recommend a cover sheet for screen print transfers specifically. Now, any of the other transfers that I'm about to apply here, we're still going to use a cover for. All right, so I am going to thread this on in the same way that I threaded on my T-shirt just upside down this time. And what I'm doing now is I like to like fully dress the plaid to get an idea of like how the t-shirt would be worn first. And then I pull it back until that collar seam is off of the plaid in. All right, so I'm just making sure now that the seams are even on the sides. And that's just helping me really envision if it's being worn, is the, is the design gonna be placed straight? So with these sublimated shirts, what you want to think about is what you're going to put on it that is not going to allow those inks from the shirt to migrate through, okay? So if I were to just put a standard white heat transfer vinyl, like our go-to ultra weed heat, heat transfer vinyl, it's a pretty thin product. It doesn't have a dye inhibitor in it. So it is going to let these um, inks here transfer through. And I'm just curious here. Okay. So I want to point this out because this is another thing I haven't seen that Threadfast is doing differently. So you guys can see from this shirt here, that these colors are pretty muted, right? They're not like very bright and vibrant. And that's because there's actually sublimating a blend. It's not 100% cotton, which means that we can they can still sublimate it and the sublimation will work on it, but that cotton is going to keep the color from getting its true potential, its true vibrancy that it would if it was a 100% synthetic, so, like polyester shirt. So that little mix of the cotton content is going to make this look a little bit more faded, but I think that's why I like it so much because it's 60% cotton and 40% polyester. And it's just giving that more like faded muted look, which is very trendy and in style right now. Um, so this metallic is going to go right on top and it is a natural dye blocker just because of the nature of the metallic or foil finish that lays on top of the adhesive. It actually doesn't allow any inks to migrate through. Now, if you wanted a regular matte or true white finish or something like that, you can use silicone dye block. Um, and if you needed like full color, you can use our ultra color, um, 
there's a dye blocking one and I forget what it's called. Ultra color stretch, I think has a dye blocker. I don't know. We'll have to follow up with, you'll have to ask Transfer Express, but I know that they have a full color dye blocker. Um, and then of course our standard like full color heat transfer vinyl that's in our CAD color line, anything super tech will work. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply this. I'm gonna go a little bit higher just because of that V-net. And because the shirt, because I'm getting like a pressure issue down here because of whatever is going on up here, I'm gonna grab a pillow too. And that's just gonna help raise that area for me so that I don't have failure with the application. So I'm just gonna insert this pillow. And it's nice to always have these on hand for these reasons, because sometimes you just never know what could go wrong. All right. So that pillow is gonna stay right there for me and it is going to work perfectly with our CAD cut metallic. And I think that this gold metallic is gonna look so pretty with the colors that are sublimated onto this shirt. <clears throat> All right, so we're just gonna lock that down, maybe. Ah, I don't know what's going on, guys. There we go. Okay, really need to call hot truck. I hope you guys are laughing at me. Okay. Um, hi, Tia. Yes, you finally caught a live. So glad you're with us. All right, just making sure we don't have any questions. Uh, Crystal asked, does stalls do the puff vinyl transfers? Um, we don't have a puff vinyl, but we do have a puff screen print, right? So you can use that product um, and you'll get it in a screen print transfer similar to the one that we do in Goof Proof, but it's going to be a puff ink instead. All right, Bruce said, placing my first hot split order later today. Yay! Hot split's another really good one. If you guys are looking for a step up from Goof Proof with a little bit of a softer feel, hot split is a really great product. This is a cold peel, so that's why we're just kind of fanning this down. All right, I see you guys joining on Instagram. So glad you guys were able to catch a live. Tim, I didn't break it. <laughs> I think I, I honestly think something happened whenever it was shipped because it also lost a little like rubber foot. So I, whoever I talked to at Hot Charles might be mad at me. Okay. So this is the cover sheet, right? So this is the sublimation from the shirt actually migrating and getting to the cover sheet. This is another good reason why cover sheets are very important to have on hand so that that sublimation ink isn't transferring up to your upper heating element. All right, let's go ahead and peel my metallic because we use that pillow. We are kind of getting the pressure right, but not the top. Right, so it's just causing a pressure issue right at the top, and we need to figure out why. All right, other than that, I need to figure out why. Um, but other than that, the metallic does look really, really great on this t-shirt. All right, so consider using special effect finishes to really bring garments like this to life. It's just going to set you apart um, and just build unique value in your brand overall. Okay, so again, red fast t-shirts, that is that they're sublimated. Um, and I really, really like their fleece. Guys, I am not going to heat press anymore uh, because I don't know what's happening here. And I don't want to mess anything up that may already be damaged. So we're just going to shut that off and I will figure out what happened. But um, I did want to show you guys this fleece style that they're offering. And the reason I love it is because it is a completely open space, all right? A lot of real estate to take advantage of, but it still has a hoodie pocket, all right? So the pockets, the pocket seams are actually on the side. So there is a little pouch in here but if I need to pull this pocket out, 
so that I can get this print area completely flat on my platen. I can do that because there isn't a big pouch in here. It's just little side pockets. So there's no thick seam on this hoodie. And one of the things that Rachel from Threadfast mentioned was that these fleece styles do not have pilling, all right? P-I-L-L-I-N-G, pilling, where you get those like little thread balls if it goes through a wash cycle and then you have to like razor them off. That is absolutely irritating. That's not something that we want to offer our customers, especially if it's a nice fleece garment like this. We want to offer quality. This is it. I haven't seen a hoodie like this. It just has a, it's heavy enough so that it has that quality and durability that you're looking for in a hoodie. Um, and it just offers like very unique stream seam structures that will like warrant a higher price point. OK, so it has this double seam structure down the side. As I mentioned, the pouch pocketing right on the um, sides there so that there's not a big pouch there getting in the way of a full front print area. Um, and the fleece inside is extremely, extremely soft, um, but it's not super plush. So whenever we, if, we, if I wanted to compare this to something um, that it wouldn't be as plush as, it would be the Bella Canvas sponge fleece. It doesn't have that thick plushy feeling, but it still has nice weight to it. And that's what I look for in a hoodie um, for myself. If I'm selecting a hoodie, that's, that's what I'm looking for. All right, so they offer this in um, a lot of different colors. And then, of course, they have that same style that's just in a crew, right? No pockets, just a regular crew. Um, and they offer that in a lot of different colors, too. So the reason I wanted to talk about their fleece is because it's just next level. It's high quality um, and it's still easy to print, right? So they're just using, let's look at the tag real quick because I don't want to quote it wrong. Yeah, it's just a cotton poly. Yep, it's their recycled polyester that they're using. So um, very high quality. It's meeting the needs of the customers that want to promote going green. And, you know, I mean, their, um, their messaging is there is no planet B. So... Just keep that in mind. Check out their website. They have amazing stuff on there, more than whatever what I was able to show you. And if you guys are going to make it to any upcoming trade shows, um, like the Impressions trade shows, Atlantic City is just around the corner. We're uh, almost a month out from that. And I'm really excited to see you guys. If there's anybody joining, comment, because we should um, catch up. All right. So, Crystal, I have the A to Z heat press. Max, you can buy direct from Threadfast, right? So, to my knowledge, they are not being distributed at this point. They just sell direct. All right. And I'm going to check Instagram and make sure that you guys don't have any questions there. All right. Nope. Looks like we're good there. All right. So to recap, again, Threadfast, really great brand, high quality garments. Uh, their tri blends just kind of blow my mind at just the quality of them. Uh, so check those out. And then we are going to continue to do more testing with this brand um, so that you guys are going to know what products are going to work successfully for you guys. Okay. Actually, April said that Alpha Broder is carrying. Thread fast. So check out Alpha Broder. Alpha Broder. That I did not know. Thank you, April, for sharing that. I appreciate it. All right. Well, that wraps up our Facebook Live for this week. We, we, guys, we will be back with you guys in two weeks from today. Um, so we did update our schedule going into 2022. I'm sure Kelly mentioned this, but for those of you that didn't catch it, we are going every other week now on Thursdays at four o'clock, typically just through Facebook and YouTube. But today I wanted to uh, catch you guys on Instagram as well. You guys have been following along with a lot of stuff. So I wanted to show some love there. All right. I will see you guys next time, hopefully at an upcoming trade show. Thank you, guys.